Ukraine stuff, which is like this weird, you know, culty thing where it's like if you don't support Ukraine, which is an obviously corrupt country if you were born before yesterday, then you must love Vladimir Putin. It's basically the whole Trump Russia thing now, but they've replaced Trump with Ukraine. And, you know, Trump's a politician who stands for a lot of things, but Ukraine is a country where they sort of have applied all these labels to. So they've applied the labels of freedom and democracy and defending your homeland and everything, which is supposed to be bad over here, by the way. Defending yourself and, you know, being super pro, you know, like... Um, super pro liberty and and freedom and justice is is frowned upon a bit around here and defending your border frowned upon in North America but in Ukraine they've applied all these labels to it and they say hey this is amazing why don't we give them billions of dollars and if you oppose that or disagree with it in some way you raise your hand you say uh we'll tell you that you're actually in favor of Vladimir Putin so weird thing going on there if you if you follow me at all you know and po probably agree with this Ukraine stance but the, the most hilarious thing to me is Paul, people like Polyev and Doug Ford who say Trudeau sucks all day long. Ford doesn't really say it anymore. He gave up on that. But Polyev says Trudeau sucks all day long. And then he goes and sides with him on this. And this was the funniest thing um, that, <laughs> that Pierre Polyev puts out. So 6.30 p.m., um, Pierre Polyev posts this on Twitter. My team forced Trudeau to pause his ban on 12-year-old trucks. Sign our petition to make sure he doesn't try it again. So Trudeau sucks, right? You know, the whole thing he's running on, Trudeau is the worst guy ever. Three hours later, he's at a rally with Trudeau and Doug Ford basically being like, you know, Trudeau may suck, but giving money to Ukraine is more important than that. And I must stand. <laughs> you know, you shouldn't believe Trudeau about anything. But when it comes to giving money and supporting a war in another country, this is one thing we can be on the same side as. So not three hours later, I can't tell you exactly when this rally was, but it appears to be that he's on his way to this rally telling you that Trudeau sucks only to be standing next to him at this rally with Doug Ford. And let's hear what he said here. Please welcome a friend of Ukraine who we had the pleasure of meeting at the Holodomor Memorial in November. The Honorable Pierre Poiliev, leader of the official opposition, leader of the Conservative Party of Canada. Joining him will be Melissa Lansman, deputy leader of the official opposition, member of parliament for Thornhill, and also Anna Roberts, MP for King Vaughan. So, already, <laughs> um, so he's got two people, Melissa Lansman and this other woman, non-Ukrainian people, I don't think, I could be wrong, but non-Ukrainian people, because you can kind of, there's a lot of Ukrainian people where I grew up, and I'm not going to say, like, you shouldn't like your country, and you shouldn't support your country being invaded, you know, like, I'm not going to say, like, how dare you support the country your family's from, but you've got two people who are conservatives, also not Ukrainian, to the best of my knowledge. Again, I could be wrong. But they're coming up, and he's saying, Slavia, Ukraini, and the crowd's chanting back at him. This is a, this is basically a war rally. <laughs> and he just, he just came from saying, you know, sign this petition because Trudeau sucks, but also let's come together on this war that we can support. There's only like 10 seconds more. A year ago today, a vicious dictator launched an unjustified, illegal, and unprovoked attack on an innocent people and a sovereign country. He thought that it would be over in days. That's, that's where it ends. And that's, that's pretty much his stance always when he talks about Russia. I looked up his statement from the same day. He says, one year ago, Russia, Russian aggression took on the new form of evil with the unprovoked invasion of Ukraine. You know, asterisks there. Throughout this war, we've seen the unshakable resistance of Ukrainian people. Asterisks there. Canada must always stand for freedom and democracy in the face of evil. Tyrants. Huge asterisks there. So I just don't understand. I don't understand how you can go from Trudeau man bad three hours later to Tr Trudeau man good and just and just be praising a war, doing a war rally. That's literally what it is. You've got three of the most powerful people in the country in Trudeau, Polyev, and Doug Ford, the premier of Ontario.